Hello, welcome back to another. The last two weeks have been pretty crazy. <laughs> for me. Not only did I move to Texas and acquire the rarest drop of all, a social life, but professional YouTube video watcher Asmongold watched my videos in front of 50,000 live viewers. Wow! 50,000! Wow! But I'm not all bad. Oh. I promise. <laughs> but that's not all. I'm now constantly under fire from wholesome whispers, love, support, and overwhelming attention wherever I go. To go from bandito incognito to this level of popularity pretty much overnight has been very strange and very cool. I love you all very much much. Yay. Last episode, I invited you all to mail me offerings in exchange for Lucky Charms. Unfortunately for me, I vastly underestimated my audience and the volume of mail I received was so high that Blizzard actually locked my account for suspicious activity. Why? why? It's probably because of all the mail. Yeah, I think it's all the mail I've been sending. <laughs> unreal, but Barney, Barney's getting more mail than me. Unreal, by the way. Not only did you guys inadvertently upset Uber Danger, good job everyone, but you also completely cleaned me out of Lucky Charms. Yes, that's right. Until further notice, I am sold out. Thank you for your generous contributions. I'm sure I will commit them to video soon, but not today, because today it's time to get spooky. Last week, I was made aware of r slash Grobulus, which is my server's subreddit. There I found a flyer for a Hallow's End roleplay event with minigames, a raffle, a PvP tournament, fireworks, and a costume contest. Now, the costume contest really caught my eye, and upon further inspection, I discovered that they were asking for volunteer judges. Perfect. A good rogue knows that to succeed, you must use every tool in your arsenal, fair play or not. And so I unfairly leveraged my position of newfound popularity for personal gain. Did I bribe the event organizer with Lucky Charm? The details aren't really important. All you need to know is I am now one of the costume contest judges. Now if you'll excuse me, I have an event to attend. Because I'm an idiot dumbass moron, I arrived to the event two hours early. I got local time mixed up with server time. Whoops. When one is bored and left to one's own devices, it is normal for one's brain to come up with a game. And in this moment, mine created one that I play an awful lot. Just how high can I get? <laughs> It's like a climbing joke. With two hours to burn and the attention span of a small child, I started climbing on every surface I could see. I started with the house on the end and attempted to make my way onto the roof, but after spending a couple of minutes giving myself a mild concussion, I decided, yeah, this ain't it. Thankfully, the stable would fare a little better. Due to Blizzard's janky collision mechanics, trademark, I found that if you run at this beam at a specific angle, you walk up and onto it. From here, you can do a short hop to land on top of the jack-o'-lantern, and after positioning yourself on the highest point of the jack-o'-lantern, you can then jump onto the stable's canopy. Now here's where we separate the boys from the men. To an untrained eye, this roof might look unclimbable, but whilst you were busy partying, I was studying the unfathomably large video library of Slavic people climbing things. As such, I am now a parkour virtuoso. If we pay attention to how the roof looks, we can see it's modeled kinda like this. On each side, there are two slopes, and they meet in the middle to form their lowest point. If this roof is climbable, which I believe it is, then the best bet is to jump perfectly into this spot, which I estimate to be about two pixels wide. However, you can't just hold forward and jump at this spot because the roof hangs overhead, meaning that after every failed jump, you must fully reposition and try again. What kind of madman would think this is possible? Me. And I'd be right, bitch! Okay, I'm just gonna go take a nap. Two hours later, I was rudely awoken to the sound of someone shouting that they were selling authentic Barney B Lucky Charms. What? I jumped off the roof, sprained my ankle, and confronted the vendor. What the heck? Mizujin gasped. It's Barney. Bows down graciously. What happened next, I can't exactly show you on YouTube, but let's just say our friend Mizujin isn't going to be reselling my Lucky Charms anytime soon. Please let me out this basement moon. I not resell no more, I promise. As attendees were arriving, a priest named Lyle Brooks was handing out costumes, ghost, pirate, or surprise. I requested pirate and waited excitedly. Man, I'm gonna look so cool. Unbeknownst to me, however, the pirate costume can also change your race, and so, of course, I was polymorphed into a gnome. Ah! If there was ever a fate worse than undeath, this is certainly it. Look what they did to me. Six foot versus five foot eleven. This sucks. <laughs> well, I guess this year I, I have to be a gnome pirate. Yay. But then, disaster struck. Did you guys know that if you right-click a buff, you you uh, voluntarily get rid of it? I didn't know, I didn't know that. So when I right-clicked on the costume, I got rid of it. Oh no. I, 
and I didn't even know you could do that. What am I gonna do for a costume now? I thought to myself as I trick-or-treated the innkeeper, and then, as if some divine being had been watching over me the whole time, I found it in my bag. A night elf mask. And so it was decided, this Hallow's End, I would be a night elf. Wow. Totally convincing. Wow. Hey, we'll be inviting the elves, man. Guys? Perhaps A B dinner. Removes mask? I'm I'm not a real night elf. It's it's just me in a mask, okay? You smell not be fooling me, man. I knew it. He'd be smelling like the dead man. Puts mask back on. Ah, uh, he'd be an elf again. That'd be a no, good guys. disguise, man. You'd probably be, be fooling back. the elves themselves. You think? Yeah, man, you look just like one. Maybe I'll take a trip to Teldrassil tonight. Well, I think you already know where I'm going with this. I had an itch, and I wasn't going to be able to enjoy the festivities until I had scratched it. I set my hearthstone to Brill, and then I took off on a blimp set to Orgrimmar. From here, I made the long trek to the night elf town of Orbedine, wherein I stowed away on a ship headed to Teldrassil. Could I really do it? Could I fool the night elves into thinking I was one of them? If so, I'd have confirmation that this costume is the most convincing costume of all time, and is therefore incredibly valuable. Just think, I'd never have to sell another Lucky Charm again. I arrived at Teldrassil and exited the boat. Stealthily, I crept up the hill, past the guards, and made my way up into the tree. I was now in Darnassus. Walking forward, I saw a night elf coming up behind, so I unstealthed and played it cool. As the night elf rode away, it seems I had not raised suspicion. A human then also rode past me, and I started to realize, this disguise is good. As I carried on walking through the streets of Darnassus, a human warlock approached, dismounted, and began walking alongside me. I waved to him, and he waved back. Hello, fellow Alliance members. On Dovis. Just another night elf on a stroll. <clears throat> JC108D. Which is human for no kill. And it seems I was understood because the warlock no kill. He mounted and rode past me. This disguise is good. For 10 more minutes, I slow walked through the streets of Darnassus, completely under bothered. This mask had granted me otherworldly powers. I had blended into the background and become just another night elf in Darnassus. I could only imagine what I looked like to them. This disguise is good. Too good. Hello, I'm back. Who let an elf over here? If you he really be an elf, tell us why they taste him so good. Kill it. We should eat him. Ah, uh, you looking tasty. You don't want to eat me. Barney, can I be in your guild? They be tasting like good herbs already, Mo. I want to eat the elf as well. Uh, you eat me and you're going to wish the Scourge took you instead. You'll be shitting for months. The Scourge did take me. We should start that fire. They meet me talking too much. The elf looks tasty. What should we have? Well done? Or medium rare. What's happening here? I think they're trying to eat me. An elf! Let's cook him up just a little bite. You do look delicious. Come on now, into the fire. Now guys, come on. Alright, go in the fire. Please? Bet it tastes like chicken. Only our taste. Guys, come on. It's not a joke, I'm not an elf. No elves allowed, moan. This not be my idea, man. Hey, a night elf rule. Say the elf. Why do you have purple skin? That face ears? don't lie. Let us bless this meal. But the mop has spoken. Please hold hands. Dance me, troll. The dark lady is gray. Okay, I admit, I smell pretty good. Auntie will cook you up nice and tasty. We need pepper. By her hands, we are all fed. I cannot wait to cannibalize this elf. He's all skin and bones, but an elf is an elf. We got elf for dinner, everyone. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Just one bite. Save me the air. Now this is cooking. Pass the elf around. Tasty. Give me the thighs. Mmm. Not bad, man. I heard there was elf. Mmm. Tasty. I'm in pain. Please. Go on, I should piece elf in there. Ooh. That's some nice spice. That was my favorite leg. Please. Something mm -hmm. smells so good. Now, now, y'all be saving the chest for me, man. Y'all role-playing or some dumb shit? Really? I'm just a skull now? Real mature. I ain't feeling so good, man. Shh. Stop talking, elf. If I'm an elf, <sighs> how am I still talking? Oh. My stomach is upset. Cut his tongue. I see the light. Take me. Yeah, so we're just not going to wear that mask anymore. Strangely enough, being cannibalized by a horde of horde leaves you with quite the appetite. I revived and hit up my boy Gul'dan Ramsey, head chef at Bell's Kitchen, for some free food. Delicious. I then joined a circle by a campfire where everyone was telling spooky stories. I decided to join in. After all, my horror stories are world-renowned. On a cold autumn evening a few weeks ago, I tried to do Zolfarak, but there was this warlock who wouldn't stop pulling everything. Ooh. 
He had desummoned his DPS pet and instead was using his Void Walker. And then after he was exposed for doing less damage than the healer, he left. And then I saw him last week outside Blackrock Spire. And he was still, he still had his tanking pet out. And then it was time for the PvP tournament. Now I had never taken part in a roleplay event like this before, so I wasn't really sure how many people were going to show up or what the vibe was going to be like, but as we all slow walked to the graveyard and formed this giant fight pit circle, it, it really dawned on me like, damn, th there's a lot of people here. I mean, I mean, look at this. This is fucking sick. But I fucking love World of Warcraft. Anyway, the tournament was a pretty standard ordeal. I watched a giant bear maul some guy to death, and then I, a complete PvP novice, foolishly stepped in for someone who didn't show up. I proceeded to get completely and utterly a obliterated by the better player, but at least I'm putting it in the vid, so who looks stupid now, huh? Uh, probably still me. But that's okay, because I'm gonna bet on these matches, and I'm gonna make- I'm gonna make hella money. 20 gold on the gardener. Oh shit, he's buff. 20 gold bet. I got rogue. Okay. Go! He opens up. He's throwing! It's a scam! Don't be a sore loser! Come on, Bearmont! You're the gardener! Plant him! Put him in the fucking dirt! Plant up! Come on! Oh my god! My money! Well, at least I can still win the raffle. I didn't win the raffle either. This sucks. What? And then it was time for the costume contest. So here it is, the moment we've all been waiting for, the costume contest. Now, originally the plan was to have just one grand winner, but since there were so many entrants, uh, I mean, seriously, just look how many people showed up. I decided to put in some of my own money so there could be two runners up as well. After all, business has been booming. Let's meet the entrants, shall we? Violent. My costume is SpongeBob from the episode where he ripped his pants. Thank you. War God. I'm the drunk mercenary. Ah! No, the higher. Smite in the face. Frugo. He's an Orgrimmar guard. Oglarood. Hail members of the Horde. I come from Dalaran to witness your Wicker Man festival. <laughs> oh, he speaks human. Aditi. Good evening, gentlemen. I am a sexy female dwarf. Oh, okay. Oh, get it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yagra. I. <laughs> Okay, okay. I am a human farmer from the foothills of Hillsbrad. I even walk like a human. Oh, okay. My god. He's like one of those brainless humans. Gim Jojo. I be a priest of the greatest lore. Growl the shark, lore of the sea. That's this guy for reference. I'd go and get an in-game shot, but I'm, I'm not installing retail and, and leveling through it. This video's already taken me too long to edit. Rogma. My costume is of Ravager Red, the legendary orc axe fighter, a well-known vigilante. I will slay my enemies, then vanish. Wow. 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 Ren Harak. I am Flameguard, a fallen shaman sworn into service to the Fire Lord Ragnaros. I am by fire be purged. I am dying from cancer. Nesima. I be a pirate captain, Yar, but I got a trick up my sleeve. Nobody expects the Scarlet Crusade. Oh no, it didn't work. Well, uh... <laughs> no one say anything. She'll kill you. I should know. Sirdamin. I'm a night elf in turning at Dalaran. Uh, I'm a dumb dumb night elf, so I don't understand that my people can't be wizards. Hellsicta. I'm an undead... With Brewer. Did you mean to say Brewmaster? That's what I meant. Doctor Heals Good. Hello, I'm a Scarlet Priest, and I'm just looking for some little boy. Hint, I be a simple fisherman. Trip ya. Hello, man. I be a genie. Ya needin' a wish? Let's see if this works. I wish for 10 gold. I wish I so depressed at game mode. Ya have it already, man. He's right. My god. Me magic work. Nepenthe. Hey, brother. They be calling me Netmon. Big time Hexa. From the Eka Isles, ya see. Ya watch your step now. Or ya be looking like me friend air. <laughs> That's just racist, lass. Hey, trolls, is this racist? That a real no, troll. No, man. It's legit. Kayla. I am a Dalaran mage with my dragon I rescued from the orcs. I am more specific. Look at him in all his glory. Emily, do the thing I told you to do. 
<laughs> Caesus? I am Caesus, owner of Seer of the Shattered Hands. And I wish only to say that it is all a costume. Caesus is a hug. If you're not knee deep in corpses and covered in the blood of your foes, then it's a costume. Deez. Hi, I'm the green spider orc from the DC universe. <laughs> Albion. I'm just your average cowpoke out of Mulgor. <laughs> Wrangling Kodo's my game. So you caught your own mount? Yeah, I did. Dang! Bone brain. I'm a punk alchemist. So those were the contestants. I'm sure you have your favorites, but there can only be one winner and two runners up. The other judges and I created a party to privately discuss our thoughts, and it was difficult to say the least. There were so many creative and fun costumes, but after 10 minutes, we had come to our decision. Okay, we have made our decisions. We're going to have two runners up and a grand winner. I'm going to start with our runners up. Please give it up for Krogma, ladies and gentlemen. Krogma walks away with 25 gold. Okay, next up, our second and final runner up. Please give a warm welcome to Hint. Go! <laughs> Hint walks away with 25 gold as well. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, our grand winner. Please give it up for Fran Harak! Woo! Fran Harak walks away with 50 gold! And that concludes the Hallow's End event. Thank you very much for watching. I'd like to give a huge shout out to the Grobulus Roleplay community for putting on this amazing display. And of course, a huge shout out to all the guest voices we had for this episode. Uh, a lot of people put a lot of love and care into this one, so please make sure to check the description and send them some love. Thanks as always for watching. Like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon. I'll see you in the next episode. Okay, bye! Is there a reason the cat's on the screen? What does the cat have to do with it? That's a really nice cat, to be fair. Look at that. God damn. That's a perfect cat. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll link the video here. Here's the video right here. Oh, the cat gets you more subscribers.